Amazon sucks, and I'm going to tell you why. Come listen to this story. So let's get down to the nitty gritty on this story, shall we? I understand these are first world problems, but I find this completely unacceptable, and maybe you will too. On Saturday, June 1st, I placed an order on Amazon for an expensive and in-stock, ready-to-be-shipped item. Just under $500. $499.01, to be exact. I was super excited because I have wanted one of these for a long time. It's the Huion Canvas 22 Plus Digital Drawing Tablet Monitor. I was given a delivery date of Monday, June 3rd by 10 p.m. Two days. You know, I pay for Amazon Prime for the one day delivery, but two days is acceptable. So June 3rd comes and I spend all day waiting for this thing to come because I'm not letting something like this sit on the front deck to get damaged or rained on or even porch pirated, not a chance. So after waiting all day, I get an email around 8.30 p.m. saying there was an unexpected delay and my new shipping date is now Wednesday the 5th. Okay, two more days. I'm okay with this. It's a little weird because it's an in-stock, ready-to-be-shipped item. But things happen. Cool. I can wait another day. I'm cool with that. So I spend all day Wednesday the 5th also waiting for this package to arrive. Now I know what you might be thinking. You don't need to wait until they actually tell you it had a ship, but they say the package could ship and be delivered on the same day, and it's best to expect it. And at around 7 p.m., I got the email. There was an unexpected delay, and my new shipping date is now Friday, June 7th. Lo and behold, the Friday of June 7th comes. I wait all day, again, and around 9.45 p.m., I get the dreaded email. This is becoming an annoyance. A third day wasted waiting on this item. My new delivery date is now Tuesday, June 11th. This is a four-day leap instead of the normal two that they've been doing. This will now be 10 days. So now I want to know what's going on. I go to the Amazon webpage. I go to the customer service tab, click on the chat thing, and I'm greeted by Ayush. Ayush tells me there was a problem on their end, and everything is now fixed. I can expect my item to ship in 24 hours. Guaranteed and I will receive an updated email about the new shipping date and time as soon as 24 hours. Now, I'm not happy about this, but I'll accept it. At least I know the progress has been made, and my new delivery date should be updated to the 8th or possibly the 9th. I'll give them the 9th. One day passes, nothing changes. Two days pass, no change. Three days pass, no change. So now it's Tuesday, June 11th, and the system is still saying today by 10 p.m., as well as the message that it could ship at any second and I should be expecting it and ready to receive it. But here it comes getting close to 10 p.m. and I get another email. This time it says that it's delayed yet again, but they need my approval in order to delay it. I have to approve them not shipping my package. Ain't that smish? Really? So I do it, and I also hit up Amazon customer service through the chat again, do battle with the AI to get to a human person, and I'm finally greeted by a real person, allegedly. This time, I'm greeted by Yakashi Ai. I'm using their names because they deserve to be outed for this. Yukashi looks into it and tells me that there is indeed some kind of shipping error on their end, on Amazon's end. A technical glitch of some sort is preventing the order from being processed. And Yukashi, he gives me this instruction. It would be best for you to cancel the order and reorder it again. This should fix any mistakes. Now, mind you, the price isn't the same. 
So if I reorder it now, I'm going to pay almost $100 more. So from just under $500 to just under $600. To me, this is unacceptable. But Yakashi assures me I will be able to be reimbursed the difference once the item has been processed, shipped, and delivered. I make certain that this is right. You're sure about this. I will be reimbursed the difference because you're making me cancel the order. They tell me absolutely it's a guarantee. I wasn't holding my breath. Not at all. But I do, as instructed, I cancel the order and I reorder it. The site updates with a new total and a new delivery date of Saturday, June 15th. From the 1st, now it's going to be the 15th. I am clearly getting more and more annoyed by this. And the frustration is really starting to get me a little irked. I mean, come on. This order has taken almost two weeks for a supposedly in-stock, ready-to-be-shipped item. What's up with that? I have been told by both reps now that it's in-stock and ready to go. But it isn't. And they won't tell me why. Now, I grew up in the age of, you know, s s please allow six to eight weeks or six to 12 weeks for delivery. I can wait for a delivery. I have no problem with that. Just tell me it's going to take a month to ship it to me, and I'm cool. That's great. But that's not what they're doing. They're giving me a new date every couple of days. For what? To keep me on the hook? Do they think this is going to make them the sale? I don't know. So the four days pass, and the 15th is upon us. I spend the whole day waiting again. But it wasn't a complete loss. My friends Harley and the Chad, they came over and we played board games all day, had a little barbecue. It was a fun time. I was still paying attention and keeping an eye on the, you know, on the front of the house so that I knew if this package arrived. And can you guess what happened? That's right. I got another email. This got my blood boiling, but I let my cooler head prevail. I calmed down. I figured if I'll sleep on it. And I'll look into it in the morning. They are now telling me my new delivery date is Tuesday, June the 18th. So Sunday, June 16th rolls around, 10 a.m. I call Amazon this time to make sure that there is an actual person on the other end of the line. You know, flesh and blood human being. This time, I am greeted by Kathleen R., who is totally not faking her empathy and my phone claims that I am connected to her in Washington State. There is no way this person is a Kathleen R, and there's no way they're in the United States. But that's a different story, and I digress. That's not important. Kathleen talks me in circles for about 40 minutes, and at one point actually says, our customer service system does not have the functionality to help the customer. End quote. I have no words for this. This is insanity. So I asked Kathleen if she can transfer me to someone with a little bit more authority. Maybe someone in the shipping department. I don't know. Just transfer me to someone who has more authority. And Kathleen asks me, who I would like to speak to. And I'm like, I don't know, someone in shipping. And Kathleen says, no, I need the exact name of the person you would like to contact so that I can transfer you. Are you kidding? Do I look like I know who works at Amazon? Do I know who's in charge of the shipping department? Do I know one person who works at Amazon? No, I don't. I don't know any of these people. But now you're wasting my time. After 40 minutes of this nonsense, this is where I decided to do a bad thing and become a dirty little troll. Yes. Now you've really annoyed me. You've taken up my time. You've all lied to me. You're going to get what you deserve. I'm going to be a troll. It's time to get a little passive aggressive and waste their time as much as they have wasted mine and maybe stop them from wasting someone else's time 
the same way they're wasting money. I'm not proud of it, but it made me feel better. So here's what I did. I Googled the board of directors of Amazon and I told her, you can connect me to Jeffrey P. Bezos, please. Her response to me is an obvious, Mr. Bezos is not reachable by this system. Of course he isn't. Why would he be? I giggle a little bit and I move on. Well, then can I speak to Andy Jassy, please? Mr. Jassy is not reachable through this system. And this is where Kathleen asks me if I could wrap it up. You're kidding, right? You want me to wrap it up? You've wasted my time for 40 minutes and going on three weeks now? And you want me to wrap it up? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep being passive aggressive. So I continue through the list. Can I speak to Brian T. Oslo? Olzowski, Olzowski, I don't know how to say that. And again, I get the same, you know, Brian is not reachable by this system. She asks if I could wrap it up again. I say, don't worry, I'm almost done. And I continue through the list. You can just hang in there. I proceed to go through the rest of the remaining four board members until I reach the end of the list. I hope this teaches them not to make asinine suggestions. Like, give me the name of the actual person you want to talk to. That is not helpful from a customer service representative. That's ridiculous. And if you ask me something like that, some of us, some of us are going to follow through and waste their time. Just for the lulls. That's how it works. So I get absolutely nowhere. And at this point, Kathleen is telling me, the item is not at a local facility. It's at a different facility and needs to be shipped to my local facility so that it can be shipped out to me. So I ask her, you know, how long does that normally take for something to go from one facility to another? And she says, mm, about five to seven days. <laughs> I laugh out loud, literally, and say, so it should be here June 8th, huh? If it only takes five to seven days, it should have been here almost two weeks ago now. We go back and forth about how my order is from the 11th and not from the 1st because they made me cancel the order and change it and reorder on the 11th. I say I originally ordered it on the 1st. They say it's now the 11th, blah, blah, blah. At this point, I feel like they're just trying to buy more time. They know they don't have it, they can't ship it, and they're trying to make up time for that. I mean, it's probably being ordered and shipped to them from China, most likely, because I'm pretty sure that's where this thing is made. It's just my assumption. I'm told once again not to worry and that it'll ship soon, and it'll absolutely be there by Tuesday, June 18th just as the site tells me, and that I don't really have to wait for the item to be delivered. It can just sit on the deck. No one will take it. Really, Amazon? You should know better. I'm not letting this thing get stolen off of my deck because some nitwit at Amazon told me I don't need to check out for it and make sure it gets delivered. That's ridiculous. So Tuesday, June 18th, rolls around again, and I spend all day waiting, again, like a fool, just for more of the same. Wait all day, and then here it is, the email. I need to approve another delay, because they're having supply chain issues. How does something in stock and ready to be delivered encounter supply chain issues? What, you can't put it on one of your trucks? This further confirms to me that it's being shipped here from China and they did not have it in stock. So I contacted them again. This time I got someone whose name I couldn't even understand. And to be frank, I don't care. I don't care what their name was. It doesn't matter at this point. They're just a, 
talking head on the other end of the line. They try to convince me to cancel the order again and reorder. At this point, yeah, I'm thinking this is it. This is what they're doing. They're trying to buy time while this thing sits in the middle of the Pacific or the Atlantic and is on its way across the sea on a boat because they have no authority or expectation of delivering this thing when they say they do. But I don't know. It could just be that I'm reading into this too much. I can do that. I'm an artist. I get imaginative. So this time, I just approve the delay. I'm not going to cancel and reorder again. They're not going to do that to me so that they can be like, oh, no, but you ordered it here. They're trying to protect, I think, their shipping times. And after they try and tell me to cancel it again, that's it. I'm done. Yeah. I'm just going to sit and wait now. I will no longer contact them. I will no longer do anything. I'm just going to wait for it to eventually show up. And by the way, the new delivery date is now Friday, June 21st, 21 days from when I ordered the item. But on the morning of June 18th, I'm awoken at about 8.30 a.m. I sleep late sometimes to a notification from she who will not be named. And, you know, at the time, we're in the middle of a heat wave here in New York, so I'm expecting this notification to be one of those severe weather alert things. But instead, it's a message from Amazon that says there was an error in processing your order and it could not be fulfilled. Okay, what's this about? So I go online, I go to Amazon, and there's a big bright red notification thing saying that my order could not be filled. There was a problem with the credit card and it was declined. Well, that's strange. So I go and I check on the card, same card I've used every purchase I've ever made from Amazon for five years now. I see the card, it's there, there's no problem. I click on it to make sure that it's the right card being used and I confirm it. But I'm not quite convinced that this is going to work. So I call my bank and my bank, well, wouldn't you know it, they have someone who knows what they're doing on their end of the line. They check on it. They say, oh yeah, it does seem to have been declined. And they can't actually give me the information but they can transfer me to someone in fraud prevention who will be able to give me the answer. So, so they do that. It takes about a minute. Somebody else gets on the line. They look into my account. And it turns out when they tried to process the order, the expiration date on the card was wrong. Huh. Huh. So I go back to Amazon and I go in and I click on the card and I check it and sure enough, the date is wrong by two months. The year is right, but the month is now wrong. The expiration date's month is wrong. Now, I have no need to change this. I have no reason to change this. It's worked every time I've used it for five years. Something's fishy here. Now, mind you, they have also tacked on another four more days to the shipping. They said it was going to be the 21st, but because of this error, it's now going to be the 25th. Now I pose to you, and I'm delving into conspiracy theory territory here. But there are really only four options I can come up with for this being the case. You know, just things that make you stop and think. So here are the four options I came up with. Option one. I got up sleepwalking in the middle of the night, went over to my computer, logged into Amazon, went to my payment options, picked the card, changed the date, closed up the computer, and went back to bed, having never realized a thing happened. 
option two. Amazon has been processing every purchase I've ever made for them from five years back on a card that had the wrong expiration date on it every single time until this one. Option three, Amazon actually changed the date themselves to buy themselves even more time. I don't know, but it could be possible. And last but not least, option four. One of the customer service representatives I talked to, most likely the one whose time I wasted, Kathleen R., went into my account, since they had my information on the screen, I'm sure, and changed my expiration date just to sabotage the delivery, to make it take even longer. Now, I don't know about you guys, but number four is my number one, and a maybe on number three. Two, I doubt it. My bank certainly would not have allowed that. And, you know, option one, yeah, I don't sleepwalk. I've never sleptwalked. Sleepwalked, sleptwalk, whatever. I've never done it. Not going to have it. So that's it. Amazon repeatedly lied to me, literally sabotaged my order, changed my account information, and the whole time blamed it on me somehow, like it was my fault. And I'm supposed to just accept that. Not going to happen. If you can think of any other options to go in my list of the four, you know, please be creative. Let me know what you think could have happened in that scenario. And here's the real kicker. Once it was actually shipped and delivered, and I called Amazon to ask about the refunding of the difference in the price, I was told that the customer representative I talked to did not have the permission to make that claim. That's right. They basically stiffed me on the refund of the difference. Two people had told me, one in writing and one on the phone, that the difference would be refunded. Guaranteed. Another guarantee from Amazon that they don't intend to back up. My advice to you, if you ever have a problem with Amazon, don't listen to them. They lie. They cheat. They do whatever they can to try and make it your fault and to get you off the line. That's it. That's what they do. So no refund for me, but I did finally get the tablet. Eh, I mean, seriously, what are you going to do? You take what you can get, right? And if you have any Amazon horror stories, bring them on. I want to hear them. Leave a comment. Let me know. So that's it for my rant. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. Or I hope it made you crazy because it made me crazy. And I can't believe they would do something like this. And like I said, if they had said it was going to take a month, I would have been fine with it. I have no problem with that. But it's the constant updating and lies every time that drove me crazy. And, you know, maybe this message will get out there and someone at Amazon will see it. <laughs> Sorry. And they'll make a change, but I doubt it. And if this costs me anything in the long run, you know, like maybe losing my Amazon associates, I don't care. If this is how they treat their customers, I don't want to be a part of it. You know, I can find stuff in other places. Amazon is convenient because I don't have to go anywhere. But I can go places. So, you know, but we'll see. You know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this rant, and, you know, I'll see you next time.
Hey, what's up everybody and thanks for watching. But don't go anywhere just yet. There are other ways you can help support my channel. Like checking out my Patreon, as others have, where you can follow for free or select a tier that fits your needs. You can hop on over to my website where you have access to my original arts as well as prints and even check out the merch store where new stuff is added now and then. And of course you can hit the buttons and do the things. YouTube loves it when you hit the like button, the subscribe button, ring the bell, and share it to all of your social medias. If you'd like to check out more of my stuff, you can do so by checking out some videos over here, or you can subscribe by clicking the thing here. You rock, you're all awesome, and together we make great art. That is not helpful, helpful. but instead, it's in it. And last but not least, one of the customer service representatives I talked to,